So I've actually booted up MAME on my computer, uh, which is an arcade emulator. And by default, this controller actually does register uh, the trackball here, as you can see, and it also registers the dial. Uh, the only problem is it does not register the buttons. I've tried plugging this in through my Mayflash adapter. I have the Mayflash S Pro again. Um, it had zero response plugged into that. It wouldn't even, these didn't even work when it was plugged into that. Um, but if you see, I can, um, if you go to your analog controls in your settings, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, if you go to this machine, if you want to do it particularly for this machine, uh, you can select this, spin your dial, and it'll register it as a mouse. Um, but the player one button, you know, to shoot, which would be here, um, I am not able to use any of these buttons, unfortunately. Um, so if anyone knows anything out there that I could maybe use, some software, um, I have tried X Patter that did not register these buttons as well. Um, so if anyone happens to know anything, I'll, I'm, I'm happy to try it. And if I do get it working at some point, I'll make a follow-up video to show how I got it working. So if you guys have any suggestions that would maybe help me out here, that would be great. How do I reset this? Okay, so I mean, you could probably get creative with this if you really wanted. I personally, I won't be playing like this until this is solved because I think this would be really neat to have um, in your main, you know, sort of setup. If you want to play Centipede or something like that or Crystal Castles, I think that'd be so fun. So I'll just go ahead and add a coin in here. Um, and I'm just gonna press, I can't press this button to shoot, so I'll be pressing um, the control button on my keyboard. Uh, might be hard to do, I'm gonna have to do this with like two hands here. So, using my thumb to spin and my left hand to shoot. But as you can see, it works. And you could play with the sensitivity, it's pretty, admittedly the sensitivity is pretty high here. I didn't realize you could kill the guys that are on the wall there, I guess if you go fast enough. Interesting. Obviously, you wouldn't want to play ideally with one hand on the dial and one, and that, the dial also gets a little caught. So if you're playing with one finger, that would be really frustrating. But if you're if you're spinning it like this, um, you get past the, the where it would get caught. You know, like if you're going really tight, it gets caught. But if you spin quickly, it's 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 pretty good. So, anyways, I'll make a follow up video if we ever figure this out. I would love to be able to play and unlock playing a bunch of uh, different games with this rather than just the ten that are on the Taito. As as fun as they are. You know, there's hundreds of games that we could probably play with this and golf games and things like that would be so much fun. But it does, it's promising that it kind of works. So if anyone can help me just to get these buttons going, um, I'll make a follow-up video because that would be really cool to uh, be able to use. So yeah, let me know.